Hello friends, the question is evaluate the given definite integral as the limit of sum and the question is we have to evaluate x square minus x dx from the limit 1 to 4. Okay, so first of all we are going to take the integral and apply this formula to this given integral. Okay, now because the lower limit is equal to 1 okay low limit is equal to 1 so in this formula I'm going to write instead of a 1 okay so I get x square minus x dx from 1 to 4 as equal to limit of h tends to 0 of h into f of 1 plus f of 1 plus h plus so on up to f of 1 plus n minus 1 into h okay further n is equal to b minus a upon h so n is equal to b that is 4 upper limit 4 minus 1 upon h or nh is equal to 3 okay now as fx is equal to x square minus x so I can write f of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1 okay so in uh, I've written like this 1 and minus 1 okay because other terms would be uh, have producing much more terms that is why f of 1 plus h can be written as 1 plus h whole square minus 1 plus h so what I'm doing right now here I'm calculating the total of these terms f of 1 plus f of 1 plus h and f of 1 plus n minus 1 into h so my plan here is this that uh, if this is calculated in a systemized manner the question will become very very easy and you can see how I'm going to do you can apply this in each and every problem like this okay similarly f of 1 plus 2 h is equal to 1 plus 2 h whole square minus 1 plus 2 h or 1 plus 4 h plus 2 h square minus 1 minus 2 h this will continue up to the last term that is 1 plus n minus 1 into h so f of 1 plus n minus 1 into h would be equal to 1 plus n minus 1 h whole square minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h okay so this will be equal to 1 square plus 2 into n minus 1 into h plus n minus 1 h whole square minus 1 minus n minus h okay now I'm going to do the totaling so f of 1 plus f of 1 plus h and so on up to f of 1 plus n minus 1 into h can be written as equal to so first of all this this plus 1 and minus 1 in each term are going to cancel out okay 2h minus h is h 4h minus 2h is 2h okay and this is going to continue here I'm going to get for the next term 6h and minus 3h so I'm going to get 3h and twice n minus 1 into h minus n minus 1 into h will give me n minus 1 into h plus h square plus 2h whole square plus n minus 1 into h whole square okay now on taking this term h plus 2h and so on up to n minus 1 into h I can write this as equal to h in h times 1 plus 2 and so on up to n minus 1 that is taking h as common okay the sum of the series which is in the term 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n minus 1 is equal to n into n minus 1 upon 2 so this is this term is going to become equal to h times n into n minus 1 upon 2 similarly the next term was h square plus 2 h square and so on up to n minus 1 h whole square so first of all I can take h square as common or taking h square as common I get 1 square plus 2 square and so on up to n minus 1 whole square the sum of this series is given by n into n minus 1 into n minus uh, into 2 n minus 1 upon 6 so this will be equal to h square times n into n minus 1 to n minus 1 upon 6 so I have the total f of 1 plus f of 1 plus h up to f of 1 plus n minus 1 into h as equal to 
which was equal to this term, okay, is equal to h times n into n minus 1 upon 2 plus h square times n into n minus 1 to n minus 1 upon 6. So I'm going to place this value, I'm going to actually replace this value by this value. So I have the integral of x square minus x dx from 1 to 4 as equal to limit of h tend to 0 h times h into n minus n into n minus 1 upon 2 plus h square times n into n minus 1 to n minus 1 upon 6. Now, in this limit I have two, un, uh, two variables n and h because h tends to 0, n tends to infinity. So I can't right now place h tends to 0 having n in a, as a term in the given expression. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve in such a manner so that I get only one limit, one variable to which the limit can be applied. Okay, so I write these terms in a systematic manner like this. This nh can be written as nh. This h goes inside this bracket to give me nh minus h upon 2. Next, this h square you can think it like this this h is equal to h square is equal to h into h one h goes inside this bracket another h goes inside this bracket to give me nh minus h and 2nh minus h and this h is going to multiply with nh to form a term nh now nh is equal to 3 okay so where there would be nh you can replace 3 so i'm going to get limit of h tend to 0 3 times 3 minus h upon 2 plus 3 into 3 minus h into 2 into 3 minus h upon 6 okay on, t on applying the limit I get this as 3 into 3 minus 0 upon 2 plus 3 into 3 minus 0 into uh, 3 uh, 2 into 3 minus 0 upon 6 this 6 and this 6 cancels out so this will be 9 upon 2 and this will be 9 3 3 is a 9 this 3 to the 6 and 6 cancels out so I get this as 27 upon 2 which is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.